In order to get a rate quote from Diversified Transportation Services, you first need a login and password. If you don't have a login and password, reach out to our friendly customer service team at 800-460-8540. They'll provide one for you. They can also help you with setting up a new account if you're a brand new client. So we move over to client login on our website, dts1.com. We click that. We type in your username, which is your email. We type in the password that was provided for you by our customer service team. That takes us to our quote screen. When you're on the quote screen, it's very simple. You click quote. The screen will refresh. As I scroll up here, you type in the origin zip code. We'll use 90502. We'll bring it to Philadelphia area. Uh, destination zip code. We will do two pallets, class 100, 999 pounds. We scroll down, you add any accessorials that you may need, such as lift gate, limited access delivery, residential delivery, things of that nature, or notification. You can hit get a quote. The screen will refresh and create a unique load number. In this case, it's 135-3398. That's how we track all of our information based on a load number here at DTS. Shows the origin city zip, destination city zip, the weight, the pickup date, and the advertised average transit time from all the carriers on our platform. As we scroll down, we see that we have multiple carriers. They're sorted from lowest price to the highest price, along with some guaranteed options down here below. Keep in mind, the lowest price may not be the best option for you. First couple of these carriers, they typically put freight on rail. Their transit times say six days. They tend to be a little bit longer. If you need help, customer service can always help you. In this case, I'm going to pick SDs. I need a five-day transit time. It's $511, and they cover the goods for $5 a pound for insurance. I hit Save Quote. The screen will refresh. It'll bring me to the load number, same load quoted and the quoted dollar amount. From here, all you have to do is click the pencil for the shipper information. I have some preloaded information in there. If you want to change the contact or the zip code, we'll write Johnny Test. We can add that in there. Put in his zip or his cell phone number just in case we need to reach him. We hit save. Screen refreshes. Then we're going to do the consignee right here. We definitely need the consignee's information. ABC Inc. 123 Main Street. Contact is Tammy. Tammy at Tammy.com. And we'll put in that phone number as well. We scroll down and hit save. The screen refreshed a little bit there, which is good. Now we need the product description underneath commodity information. We have to have a product description, a classification, and the NMFC number. If you don't know the NMFC number for your shipment, reach out to customer service. They'll help you. So we click on Edit Commodity. Brings up a new pop-up. So we have two pallets. We're going to say this is plastic articles, which is a density-based commodity. So I'm going to scroll down in our large category of items to pick from. I want to go for plastic articles and we want to do the class 100 one. It automatically puts in the NMFC. I'm going to put in the dimensions 40 by 48 by 50. I'm going to change the pickup date down here as well. The pickup date is going to be next Wednesday. The delivery date we just arbitrarily roll that out. So we have coming across. We have the pickup date and the freight's going to be ready at 12 noon. You close at 4 o'clock for the pickup. We're going to put in the value at $10,000. Very important to make sure you have the actual value of your shipment in there. If the carrier's coverage does not cover the value of your item, we will, based on your request, insure it for the full valuation for an additional charge. It will even give you a little checkbox. It says shipment value may exceed carrier coverage. Please verify. Let us know. We will help you out with that. Put a shipper reference number in there. Maybe there's a PO information. We hit update. It gives you that check warning again for the insurance. At DTS, we want to protect your shipments. It's what makes us different from the competition. 
At that point, all your information is in there. You're ready to go. Over on the right-hand side, you can click the BOL for the bill of lading and print that out. Print two copies, one for the driver, one for you. Close that window. When you're ready to request a pickup, all you got to do is hit request a pickup just there. The screen will refresh automatically. And as the screen's beginning to refresh there, it shows load 1353398 is booked. At that point, you don't have to do anything else. The DTS team will electronically send a document to the carrier. They will dispatch the driver to your pickup location, make the pickup, and you're done. It's that easy. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can call us directly at 310-521-1200. Hit option 2 and our customer service team will help you. Thank you very much, and we'll have another podcast later on.